Well, this is a fine how do you do. Yeah, it's, a, it's uh, just about 8 o'clock in the morning. We need a time and date stamp. It is 7 hours and 48 minutes into the day of Monday, June 2nd, 2014. And is this good morning? No, well, not really. This is a this is actually a good a, a fine how to do how do you how do you do or a fine howdy. Uh, I was lucid dreaming again. Got some ideas, so I had to get up and sort of come to the computer. Uh, here, I, I, I'm a little peckish, so I'm gonna have something to, something to eat. You know, some uh, some buns. I like raisin buns. And you have a glass of milk or a couple of glasses of milk. Take some notes and then go back to bed again. Oh, <laughs> so it's not morning yet. This is sort of like a, um, if you will, a midnight snack. I'll check my system. <sighs> oh. 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 When you write, when you write and study all day and night, and you do this uh, seven days a week, you do it at some point in time to get really, really groggy with it. The mind just doesn't turn off for some reason. Well, mine doesn't, anyways. And so the end result is that at some points in time, you just end up muddling along. <laughs> I think we do that. I think how, how often do we end up muddling along? We end up in the sort of the sort, the sort of low point. I think, but the thing is, we've got a good rhythm down. That uh, work is progressing. You know, now things are you know they're, they're starting to move. So uh, I, you know, I'm happy with that. We you know, low or high or high or low, uh, we're moving along, and that's that's kind of a good thing. So, uh, oh, I'm happy for that. I'm happy about that. Anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, try to finish up. Try to clear more of the backlog off the uh, no, uh, off the editing bay. Uh, that needs to be done. So that's for later when I get up. I, <laughs> I haven't started the day yet. I'll, 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 when I get up and start the day, I'll say hello. I'll probably say it here. Uh, but I also have some. I have another Insta vlog to film to, to do today. I'll probably do two Insta vlogs today. I have to do a general Insta vlog, and I'm going to do an, another IMO Insta vlog as well. So, <laughs> um, but that seems to be moving. That, that's, so that's kind of moving things along. The, Insta, the uh, getting I am the Insta vlogs underway and, and functioning has started. You know the whole ball rolling. So, anyways, uh, I will see you uh, when I get up. All right. Well, it's just about noon. It's time to get the day started. Well, it's actually it's afternoon, so. <laughs> uh, so. It is 12 hours and 39 minutes into the day of Monday, June 2nd, 2014. And just getting the day started, so. Uh, I was up earlier. I got up around 7 o'clock because I was thinking of something while I was sleeping. Then I also decided I was a little hungry, so I had something to eat. And as I was thinking about things and sort of adjusting my notes, I started working on a project to uh, uh, bring in uh, a wiki system for my notes. Uh, my notes are getting very large. They're getting kind of uh, out of order. 
and so to organize my notes better uh, I'm bringing in a wiki system that will allow me to really sort of pull my notes together and, and sort of have uh, more control over the note taking system and that's kind of uh, what I've uh, started doing so but then again I ended up going I didn't end up going back to bed till around 10 o'clock so from 3 to from 7 to 10 up uh, eating uh, watch 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 uh, one of my cartoons then uh, worked on the wiki system and then when it was sort of all right with where I was left I haven't finished working on the wiki system it's gonna take me I think it's gonna take me a couple days to get the wiki system working properly so I don't think I'll be work I'll be I don't think I'll be into the wiki system in terms of regular work uh, until uh, Friday so we're looking at the wiki system as a major upgrade up major upgrade project because it's gonna take several days uh, uh, and that way by Friday we should be fully into the wiki system uh, for the notes and this is our several layers of notes it's not just one note system I have multiple note systems on there and uh, uh, this will give me a, a better control you know I can end up, end up doing one another in other words it's gonna give me better capacity and more capacity to do things uh, so it's time to get the day started I will see you uh, in a couple hours. All right, take it easy. Be prepared to have what you know. Challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Here we are once again for morning vlog. Uh, yeah. It is eight hours and ten minutes, ten minutes into the day of Tuesday, June third, two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Oh, the usual always happens, and uh, yesterday was no exception. Uh, as I get going and clear up, you know, clear up uh, enough of enough of the backlog after dealing with an interrupt, another interrupt or obstacle is thrown in my way. It's not necessarily thrown in my way. It's something that I end up stumbling into that I ha that has to be dealt with. Uh, and I was uh, working on uh, my notes yesterday bringing Insta vlogs further along. Uh, the, the notes have to be further organized. And that happens every once in a while. You have to further organize things. And I worked on, started working on a project that I didn't think would take me that long. Well, uh, to my surprise, it took me long. And I spent a fair chunk of my day yesterday doing debug work. Today I'm still kind of knocked up, but I can't sleep anymore, so it's time to get up and uh, start muddling along. And that's what the day is going to be. It's going to be a muddle, a muddle along day, but because of the efficiency model, I'm going to try to see if I can um, uh, get things back on track again uh, with this interrupt. And this is the whole thing: is when you have an interrupt, if you can recognize the interrupt, is, then is if the interrupt is there, uh, you're going to see what the interrupt is. In this case, it is a, the interrupt is, uh, is a new project uh, to expand my notebook, to to really expand my uh, uh, the way I take my notes so that I can produce uh, documentaries eventually. This is in documentaries for my research. <sighs> and... I realized that several of the project itself has several sub-projects to it. And this is how a product becomes an obstacle. If a product is large enough, it's going to have several sub-projects to it. It's not going to have one simple thing and that's it. It's going to, you know, you, you look at it and say, okay, this is going to be one thing. Well, then you start looking at it and as you start examining it more closely, it's not one thing but multiple things. And, but unfortunately, as I said, 
the before sometimes sub projects uh, are common to more than one project, and this is the case here. So I can t I can tie several of the sub projects to at least three or four other other main projects. So that way. I can do the integrate, and, and it, it will actually, rather than being a, an impedance or an obstacle, it will actually help me along. It's just a matter of sort of getting down to my, you know, getting through the sort of the, the initial organization work, the initial uh, assessment, and into a good routine. And this is sort of where I will see now how the new setup actually works, whether or not it's efficient to deal with uh, this uh, this new product, and, uh, and I think it's, it's the load that the new project adds on you. And again, this happens it, 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 even if it's not this project here. Uh, when you're looking for something, we're doing research on something, if you find good leads, uh, sometimes just chasing down the leads could end up taking all that time. Uh, you know, it takes, it could, it could, it, is it a uh, falling lead? Leads take chasing down leads in terms of where different bits of where different bits and pieces pieces of information is uh, that could uh, take you at least 12 13 hours if not more and when you get up from it it feels like uh, someone is beating you up uh, you feel a little, you feel a little drunk uh, from fatigue and that's sort of, certainly the case here kind of in a um, if you will, a hungover state, I'm still slightly intoxicated from the amount of work I did yesterday. Uh, it's going to stay with me most of the day today, but uh, we're going to have to see how far I can get along with this. So. Anyways, let's see if I can vlog in the afternoon again. I didn't vlog last night, I was just way too tired. Uh, way too wiped out, but let's see what we can do today. See if we can get back on schedule <clears throat> and start clearing the backlog off the network, off the uh, network uh, editing bench again, uh, editing bay again. So if that can be done, yay! If not, then uh, we're gonna have to look at something else. <laughs> you know, we'll have to go back and sort of readjust things. But you know, that's kind of the way things go. It's just, you know. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. Uh, so, uh, anyways, I will see you later on today. Hey, okay, bye. <laughs>1 o'clock, so it's about 13 hours, uh, so the approximate timestamp is 13 hours into the day of Wednesday, June 4th, 2014, and this is the first vlog of the day. I've already done some shopping. I went shopping to uh, the clothing warehouse, got some clothes, and now I'm out to TNT. I need to get milk and bread. Sometimes things don't always line up. As I said before, I was shopping for the summer menu. Now I'm doing the shopping for the staples, bread, milk, stuff like that. And uh, sometimes that's the way it is. You have to go up more than once. You and, and as I said before, because this is part of my lifestyle. I'm not going out to a gym. It's not, you know, it's not something that, uh, oh man, I gotta go out and do this, or, you know, it's part of my daily routine. It's part of what I do, and it's not, so, you know, <laughs> I don't know. People when they post to the exercise and health and living uh, uh, communities or spirituality or wisdom. They always put out these great quotes and, you know, well, 
these are sort of one-off things that well they're nice the question is how, how much of your life is lived by this by what you just posted and for myself uh, I try to seek a consistency with my existence uh, and that's uh, mind body and spirit and that means rather than having fancy one-off quotes shaving my head and sitting cross-legged cross -legged, I need to ask questions and sometimes questions that's you know they have a direct answer to them they're more along the lines of ponderances this is kind of where the titles now sort of are coming into thing are coming into their sort of uh, their own they're ponderances they're, they're they're things to think about and the topics on the inside of the of the BTS logs somewhat cover these things but again not specifically so, they'll ask you, well, what's your vlog about? Well, it's about life. In specific, my life. <laughs> that I am a freegan. I live my life uh, in terms of exercise. This is what I do on a regular basis as part of my routine. And so, yeah. That's about it. Anyways, uh, if I think of anything more to say, I'll say it after I've crossed the street, so, yay. Uh, I used the receipt to tell what time it is, uh, well, approximately, anyways, when we're out at this, uh, I don't have a watch, so, uh, I have to use, uh, markers to tell me the time, and this is one of the markers that will tell you time, and it's a basic receipt. I just finished at TNT not even five minutes ago and it says it's just about two o'clock there in the afternoon so that's uh, 12 hours plus two is 14 so it's 14 hours into the day of uh, Wednesday June 4th uh, 2014 yeah that's the time of date stamp right there <laughs> so you want to know the time when it's past 12 is it 14 whatever just subtract 12 from it and then that gives you your time I did my shopping and I'm in my summer mode now so that most of the stuff I needed to get done for the year in terms of my shopping is done. Most of the major expenses are done. And so now when I go back to my office is to work on my notes and work on these projects, some of these other projects that I haven't finished. Uh, sort of get them moving along so yeah that's gonna remain to be uh, that's gonna be an interesting thing to see sort of although not necessarily necessarily exciting but uh, interesting nonetheless I still haven't been able to shake uh, the fatigue. I still feel like I'm walking and sleeping at the same time. But, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. I'll see you when I get back to my office right now. I've got to cross the street, so yay. And bye. Be prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. It is 22 hours. It is 22 hours into the day of 22 hours and 26 minutes into the day of Wednesday, June 4th, 2014. And this isn't an end of the day video. It's sort of like a uh, near the end of the day video. Uh. I, I, it's it's not as if I have never been in this type of mood before, but uh, you'll see this. And whenever I finish a project and then start start a new project, sometimes, particularly after I've done a long long day's worth of studying, 
I get into this sort of pensive mood. And it's a type of mood where it's a combination of fatigue and, uh, uh, it's not, it, it, it's, it's, I would call it more of an altered state of mind. It, it, it does include a bit of fatigue in terms of the physical feeling. But what happens is that while you're feeling fatigued physically, the mind keeps going and you start thinking about things in a more, uh, a more a ponderance type of thing. And if you don't know what a ponderance is, you'll have to go look that up. It's sort of, uh, you're thinking about things that don't necessarily have an answer. And my thing is, I just came off of massive amounts of a massive amount of studying. That I finished that on uh, Monday, a little bit into Tuesday, and now I'm kind of uh, getting set to do something new. What's happened is that my uh, I've outgrown the netbook, the net, the, the notebooks that I have. And every once in a while, you do have the dad in capacity, readjust your notebook. Uh, we've upgraded everything here. A lot, a, lot, a lot of the upgrades here went very well. But the problem with the upgrades is that now as you, as you add, new, add new capacity, and your notebooks have to change as well. And so one of the things I'm doing is that uh, I'm linking my notebook to here. So I've changed the entire note system on here. I'm, supposed, I'm in the middle of filming an IMO vlog. Uh, for for Insta vlogs, and I started off rearranging the notes on here, but I didn't realize that I needed significantly more work to be done on there. But I couldn't do it all on video, so uh, I did a bit on video. I did 15 minutes on video, and I'll go back on um, probably tomorrow and finish up the vlog and talk about what I did. And what this does is it links um, the note system to an HTML system. Uh, and, or, sorry, well, it, there's two types of two types of note systems. There's a, there's a wiki note system. Then there's also a HTML note system. An HTML note system is a good system when you need to go back and reference something, and you want to put a reference in your notes so you can go quickly go back and jump and see where you need to sort of up this extra information, you can do that with an HTML system. It's a little more complex to do it with a wiki system because a wiki system require, requires a little bit more uh, uh, overhead than an HTML note system. So what I'm doing right now, I'm, I'm, in, I'm sort of in the midst of uh, creating a hybrid text uh, HTML note system for the Android that will connect to uh, a wiki system that's coming in on the uh, network itself, the main Linux network. And that's kind of where I'm going with things, but it, 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 it is going to be a process. It's going to, be, it's going to evolve over the uh, next couple of months. And uh, But that's it, this project and these projects that I'm talking about evolve while I'm doing the main background research. And you'll start seeing this more back background research more and more as uh, the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network gets going. A lot more of this background research is going to come out. You'll start seeing this more on the Insta vlog. And so basically, the, the BTS vlogs are going to be behind the scenes. We'll just talk about the you know the, the, the progress, the different issues behind uh, doing the work on my fatigue and stuff like that. But the actual content, the the, the research content, will be in the Insta vlogs. Insta vlogs is the uh, where you see most of the research is going from the ad hoc notes into the more organized notes and every once in a while you do get tripped up because uh, you outgrow the note system that you're currently with and as you go into the new note system everything has to be reorganized with the structure, uh, and dealt with in that manner anyways uh, that's it for tonight I will probably see you tomorrow morning uh, I don't know exactly when. We'll figure that out. <laughs> All right, take it easy.
prepared to have what you know challenged by Cyborg Alpha TV Network. <laughs> Well, it's time to start another day, and uh, there is a fair bit on schedule for today because, as usually happens, I didn't finish everything I intended to do yesterday, so that means things uh, start to uh, pile up today, and because Thursday is typically a day when the weekend start starts, it's, you're starting to move into the weekend. There's a bit of a bit of pressure because if you've fallen behind, then now you've got more work to catch up on. Well, that's kind of typically the case here. Um, so then with this, get started with the time and date stamp. It is 11 hours and 6 minutes into the day of Tuesday, June 5th, 2014. And this is kind of our record of what's going on, of uh, how I started from where I started, and then... Progress to where I'm, or to progress to where I've progressed, you know. So in other words, you can follow the entire history of what I've done online, uh, and you'll see the research behind the scenes, and you'll see, you know, we started off, you know, you know, fiddling around with uh, random notes here and there, so that eventually became the ad hoc notes, and now we're moving from ad hoc notes into more organized notes. And that's the insta vlogs. And we will progress from there. You know, th this is kind of, as I said, part of the challenge of moving into uh, TV network mode is to make this part of the everyday experience, make this part of the routine that I do on a regular, you know, well, routine is, is well, routine, right? Uh, <laughs> so... Um, so I do have more. It's primarily going to be working on the netbook, the, the notebook today. I do have uh, a. It's more of an organization day today than anything else. For the particular reason that I've finished, in terms of some of the research that I've done, I've finished a whole section of research, going through things. And I've made a decision as to where I might be going next for research, where the next direction is. Uh, uh, and this is all in open exploration, but the thing is, as I said before, you have no idea where bits and pieces are. You can get to a point where you've gone as far as you can with, with what you've collected. And then you have to go out and start looking for new pieces. Uh, and that's kind of where I am now, is I've finished with the pieces that I have now. I've finished, done, I've finished the collecting anyways. I now have to sit down and organize what I collected. And organizing what I've collected will give me an idea of where I want to... Well, it's not a... I, doing the collection once you've done, I've done this enough gives you an idea of where you might want to go next. It's the organization that sort of cements it and sort of says, okay, I'm going off in this direction. It provides you with a determined direction. Now it's not the only direction that you can go off in. This is it's just this is where you ended up you end up heading off in terms of your research, and it's this sort of day in day out type of thing. Is that you gonna you know that that you're gonna go to bed when you're tired, when you get up in the morning you're gonna start off from where you left off in terms of your research and you're gonna move forward. Well, somewhat move forward. It's uh, you know. Uh, moving forward is a relative term. It's not something that's uh, fixed or, or defined anymore. I guess it, well, that's what the way a lot of stuff is here. There's nothing fixed. There's nothing defined. Uh, and things are relative to the observer. And what I was sort of thinking, and this is a bit talking about more in the IMO vlog, is that um, it's better to learn how to find information than to simply know what the information is. Because the reason, the, the, what I said, well, what I've said, and I'm going to say this again. It doesn't matter what somebody tells you. It might be true, but it might not be true. It's how you understand what's being said to you or what's being given to you that determines how it fits into your life. 
And that information could be good information or it could be bad information. And how you take it, how you deal with it, determines the overall result. So let's say that someone gets bad information or, you know, let's, let's say that, bad information. If a person takes it at face value and doesn't question what they're being told, then the bad information can end up with a very negative and very, you know, unpleasant result, simply because questions weren't asked. Now, many people will not ask questions because it causes problems, initially in the beginning anyways. And then what happens is they find up out later on down the road that they've been given wrong information and then all of a sudden now they're upset about it because well well why did the why did the person give me the wrong information well this could be a variety of reasons why the person the person gave you wrong information but if you're not the type of person who's go, going to go and ask and sort of find out about these things then you don't know why they, why they gave it to you it could be because they wanted to because they you know they, they had some malice in their heart it, 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 it could be for a variety but the, a variety of reasons, but you're not going to know that because you're not the person who asks, you're not the type of person who asks questions. And asking questions is not being mean about it. You're not going out and, you know, being the inquisitor, you know, and this is a reference to the Spanish Inquisition for those of you who want to go look that up. This is simply asking a question. That's all it is. And how, and the thing is, again, you're not actually, when you're asking a question, you're not looking for specifically the answer itself. What you're primarily interested in when you ask a question is what is the response of the person? How does the person reply? Are they angry? Are they upset? Are, you know, are they upset? Are they you know okay with it? You know what's their response to you? What, you know in terms of the, the 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 emotional response? That tells you a lot what's really behind things. Uh, but it also gives you a good clo clue as to where you want to go next in terms of how you want to develop your understanding. And the thing is, is that if you don't take this initial step, as difficult as it may be, you may find yourself in a bad position. So for me, it's better to ask the question in the beginning, you know, go through that problem, and then, then rather than end up down the road, uh, you know, several months later saying, well, I should have done this. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. It's time to get the day started, and I will see you uh, later on. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.